So I've seen a couple of TikToks of this Power World build and have decided to bring you guys my version of it. Today I bring you a complete guide on how you can get this max damage Goliath with that Megaton implode with the best passives too and also the best functioning party to get the ultimate team OP build. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ. Before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice if you already own Power World. To be in with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Winners are picked from the comments section and will be announced Sunday evening. So good luck everybody. So the TikToks I've seen haven't actually credited who I believe is the first to showcase this. Uh, that as far as I'm aware belongs to a dude called Old Doe. I will link his channel down below if you do want to check him out and show him some love. So what this consists of is a power which is capable of devastating things. This isn't just because of the Megaton Implode, there's also a special partner skill on the Goyurat which increases damage like nothing else we've seen. Now to do this you will obviously need to breed up to it. There are multiple paths to take but ultimately it will take some cakes. It requires a lot of breeding and it will also require luck on your behalf, that is for sure. So let's get into it and let's start at the very very bottom okay so first things first we need to breed ourselves a ray hand but we need this ray hand to have the four major passives almost right off the bat and those passives are muscle head ferocious legend and celestial emperor now right away you will notice that legend and celestial emperor are much much harder passives to get this is true and this is because these guys are exclusive to Palladius. Palladius is the only pal in the game with that Celestial Emperor but it does come at a guarantee and it also comes with a guaranteed of that legend passive too and you may as well start off with Palladius you may as well be the first one you get so yes Palladius is a level 50 world boss seen right here on the map but he is a part of the team his pal is called Necromus yeah, it definitely isn't the easiest to catch. I mean, you can catch both of these or just get Palladius. It doesn't matter, but you need Palladius, that is for sure. But once you have him, it does get much, much easier to run from this point. So with Palladius in the bag, having the passives of uh, Legend and that Celestial Emperor, we now need to breed a Rayhound. Now we will obviously create this Rayhound using Palladius, it just makes sense this way and the options of doing this are you can breed Fox Parks with Palladius, a Jolt Hog with Palladius, Depresso with Palladius, Who Creates with Palladius and Flambella with Palladius. These will all result in a guaranteed Rayhound baby. But guys we need to add the two other passives into this mix and they are Ferocious and Musclehead. These are an absolute must because we want that Rayhound to come out with Musclehead Ferocious, Legend and Celestial Emperor. That is the main goal here. So take your pick of pals who you choose to breed with Palladius. Me personally, I feel Fox Parks is probably the easiest and most common one you will find. And the point of now guys is it's going out and taming, capturing a ton of these certain pals. My instance, Fox Parks. Because you want these Fox Parks to have that muscle head and ferocious on them. This may equate to you having to basically catch a ton of these until one of them has one passive and the other one has the other passive and breeding them together until you get one Fox Parks which has both ferocious and muscle head on them. And when you get to this point, people, you then breed this constantly with Palladius until you get that ray hand with all four passives on it. So once you do get that Rayhound guys, which will take a while and plenty of cakes, you now want to put this aside for a second. You now want to go out and catch yourself a Tolka Tolko. These are super easy to catch and find, so you won't have to worry about these. So come to this point on the map guys, which I think is the best place, and look preferably for a Tolka Tolko with minimal passives on it. The less, the better. If you can get one with no passives, perfect. But while you are here, people, if you do catch Toka Tokos which have Muscle Head and Ferocious on them, keep them aside. We'll use them later. Don't forget this Toka Toko as well with the no passives on it or the minimal passives. You want to make sure it's the opposite sex of your Rayhound. So with you now having and getting that Toko Toko, you now want to level it up to a level 22 or 3. This will unlock the Megaton Implode skill. So that's what you got to do here. Make sure this is unlocked and make sure it's applied and probably unequip every other skill too. I'm not sure this makes any difference to the baby, but just do it anyway. You never know. So once you have this skill unlocked and you have this Toko Toko ready, you now want to breed it with that Ray Hound. 
and keep breeding guys continuously breed until you get which will be a guaranteed go rat but what we're looking for is a go rat with all four of the passives of again muscle head ferocious celestial emperor as well as a legend and also having a skill of megaton implode this is the main goal this is the final fight this is where we want to get to guys we need this go rat with the four passives and this skill this is the ultimate damage power in the game as of right now so yes this is definitely the end goal people now what i'll also suggest is try and get in a mating pair of these go rats and you can breed them on for the perfect ivs if that's your thing then obviously use a condensation machine and max this dude out as well as the statue of power people uh, you now have the ultimate power damage power with its partner skill of full power gorilla mode this does crazy damage people let me tell you but remember with this setup you are building up to using that one move of megaton implode this will ko your pal so you won't be able to use it again until that ko cooldown is done now although there are barely any powers in the game which can withstand this single attack uh, but there are some so here is what i recommend you doing so we continue on with the setup guys and we brewed ourselves the perfect party so you can also have party members within your power team which further increases go rats damage output and to do this guys you need to get yourself some ride right bunnies or re bunnies i'm not sure how that's pronounced now i definitely recommend you breeding your own and using that toko toko i spoke about earlier when i talk about them if you did get ones with ferocious and muscle head on them we'll use those toko tokos to breed ourselves the best ride right bunnies possible because we also want our whole team to have that megaton implode because where that go that doesn't finish that boss off the ride bunnies will so not only will the ride bunnies buff uh go rats attack but it will also finish off anyone still standing so with us already having our own toko toko if you did like i mentioned earlier catch any with a ferocious and muscle head on them we now breed them now you want to go out and get yourself a couple of floppies floppies i'm not sure floppies that sounds so funny now with regards to passives here if you can get yourself the other ferocious almost ahead if you don't already have them on that toko toko that's a real added bonus here i've been lucky i'm not gonna lie and i've caught myself two shiny toko tokos which i've bred with other toko tokos which means i now have lucky ferocious and muscle head on them uh, these are the perfect passives for me any other passive that increases damage is absolutely a bonus too so yeah but once you have those floppies people or floppies people breed away until you have four ride bunnies which have said passives as well as that megaton implode skill this will no doubt take you a while but it's a must people it really is but once you get what you seek if you have the spare ride bunnies use the condensation machine and level them up further along with the statue of powers these will give you a major buff overall to go rats damage output too also don't forget people we're using these as backup for when go rat doesn't get the job done by himself we chuck in these ride bunnies they go in use the the implosion and decimate any stragglers and we fought in your party that's four further attempts of taking out said enemy after go rat's initial damage and me personally i haven't gone this far in regards to the the ride bunnies and leveling them up with the condensation machine i don't think it's worth the time in breeding this many ride bunnies but i mean if you've got them you may as well do it but hey that's completely up to you if you want to invest your time in doing this it is the ultimate end game damage output goal in regards to this team and this party but hey you gotta do what you gotta do people but yes this in my opinion is the best way for that go rat to be the most damage i think you're gonna do in the game uh, for quite a while now until they probably know that nerf this because i mean the damage output the damage numbers you're seeing are just broken so yeah we will see guys we will see but there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more power be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one